So if you're in the city somewhere right. or going, then you rather prefer this. And if you're really taking this down the river or the hills, then you pick up the menu. Especially and now when you have the best of both worlds, uh, why not uh, make the most of it? To be honest, I prefer that one. So that's the one that Anand Mahindra signed. That's the one that, that when they when they discontinued in 2019. That's right. Yeah. Should you drive a, your, yourself? Around? Absolutely. Only. Absolutely. I like. I like that. my life in my own hands. <laughs> Very good choice. Huh. <laughs> Take me away. Renuka Kirpalani and welcome to another episode of History on Wheels. This is where people and cars share their stories with us. I'm standing here in Udaipur against the beautiful backdrop of the city palace to talk about an iconic car with the owner and, and the owner shares a vast history with this palace. He's none other than Dr. Lakshad Singh Mewar. Follow me on this journey. <laughs> Summer. We are green under the sun. We do our best to hide innocence fading away. Greetings, Namaskar. Namaskar. Welcome. How are you? Thank Lovely you to see you. Welcome pleasure. to our city and Thank welcome you. to our home. Thank you Lovely for to having have us you. in your home and sharing your car and home with us. Pleasure. 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 Shall we go for a drive? Absolutely. Please. Am I driving? No, I'll, I'll open the door for you. Ah. I'm so not used to this. <laughs> Chivalry. Thank Aye. you. Oh, my Indian summer. is really really nice. Yeah. I was quite pleasantly surprised. Yeah, yeah. I was really happy. Yeah, their their engineers have done a phenomenal Real job, job yes, on the engines. Yes. Yeah. Phenomenal. The soul is alive, huh? That is that yeah. is the most important. Yeah. And I told that to Mr. Mahindra as well. Yeah. So the only thing is the the plasticky bit so he yeah. said yeah we'll uh, Yeah. Yeah. Now the car that you see today we're very familiar with, but the story begins way back in 1949. just post independence when mahindra decided to independently produce their own off-road tough rugged vehicle this was the cj3a now in 1953 they gave birth to something called an mm540 which is probably the origin of the thar that we know it today because that's the shape and silhouette that you see in today's car in 1985 it got a new life when the willys hurricane engine was put into it and it became more popular in 1996 they gave birth to the classic which now in 2010 is when the first thar was really born at that point of time it had two engines if there was a common rail and there was just the regular direct injection In 2015 they named the variant the CRDE after the common rail engine which it had. Now in 2019 they actually bid farewell to the Thar and at that point they launched a special edition 700 of them were made with Anand Mahindra's signature on them and they were made in only two colors aqua and black. Well That was not really the farewell to the Thar because in 2020 with a new management a new energy there was a brand new Thar and this Thar was very very different because it had a plusher interior it had more modern features it had a comfier ride it had new engines literally everything about it including the suspension was new now the 2020 Thar was all new and it was a runaway success but it only came in a 4x4 variant and that price point maybe was not accessible to everyone so in 2023 a rear wheel drive variant of the thar was launched which made it more affordable and accessible to everyone to say it's like a massive improvement over oh, the previous thar is no like doubt. a different world no altogether doubt, no yeah. doubt no yeah. doubt no doubt foot and you know like i like i love the rawness and the mm. the you know the clatter of the diesel engine of Tell the old one it. yeah absolutely but when i come in this i equally enjoy the comfort and the in the ac mm. and the you know the silence yeah, and then when you can do it in comfort and do the same thing it's it's always and it's always have the best of both worlds yeah, yeah. i should be saying hoko no no please <laughs> So it's really interesting to have both of these together. Yes, tell me about one it. One a special edition and one the new one and I'm sure you have plenty more uh, older ones MM540s. Do you have any of Maybe, those? I I've heard that too. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you know you obviously 
with your collection of cars is a lot of heritage you have vintage you have classic cars Ji. was that a reason to pick up a special edition absolutely so, uh, one of the greatest thing is that the family has been very particular and known for the fact that we've got either the only editions or the uh, limited editions so it's, it's something which has always been there and it's i think exciting to be able to collect something which has been exceptionally unique you know and and something like this which is just 700 of them made yeah. personally signed you know that is something that is something that you really really treasure and keep very close to your heart and and especially the generation that it belongs to Correct. and i think it keeps a part of your childhood or your growing up times uh, or your early learning uh, driving learning times and all yeah. of that alive in you so which is which is wonderful and then on top of that to have this to be able to take things to the to the next, next level time. is 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 absolutely brilliant and a lot of those early childhood years in uh, athar absolutely i think uh, jeeps generally at large uh, have been a huge part of the part of the family especially when you look at the terrain and when you look at the place around yeah. and all of that i think the only uh, ones that were there who stood steadfast with you with utmost reliability were these vehicles Correct. you know and uh, and especially in the hills and in the in the rivers and all of that because yeah. uh, there, there is a hindi saying which is very very beautiful and i think it comes true with them ki jahan mujhe rasta nahi milega main bana lunga so you know literally those times were such times where you didn't have a road but you had to create one and yeah. to create one you needed a, a person who was there with you and that person and was nobody else but these vehicles you yeah. know so which is which is been really Did you accessorize this car at all? Yes, a little bit. So uh, tell me what you did. So one thing that we are very yeah. very particular about is the is is one thing that any accessories that come out are, are accessories that we only go to the company for. Hmm. So we are not believers of the school of thought that we'll go to the outside world. Okay. So if anything that has been done by the brand or the company then we are all uh, yeah. for it so anything and everything that they had mostly okay. for this except the camping uh, i think this gear. bit yes with the bonnet latches yes yes yeah exactly so also all all those sort of things so you yeah. know so we've been uh, the, from the tires to all of this to the interiors uh, some of the mats and you know which are very practical from the perspective of mud and uh, you know yeah. uh, getting uh, soil inside yeah. and wet shoes and and all of that so you know so things like I, that i i love you know walking around these two cars i just love the fact that this side profile Yes. When you look at both, just hasn't changed yes. drastically. Yes, 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 you know, absolutely. Are absolutely. you a sport back kind of or a vertical square car kind of guy? Um, uh, I, I like straight lines to be honest. So that yeah. is what I will uh, stick with you. So I can give you one definite answer at least yeah. for this point in time. Yes. So no, I think more than sports or, or anything else, I think it is more the ruggedness that you read and the rawness that you really want to bring out. So yeah. I think that with straight lines works uh, better. so uh, definitely more straight lines that is amazing and old versus new ji i mean of course the looks a lot of it very similar which is what i love i love yes. that you know it's maintain the lines that the, the shape of it hasn't changed drastically the, the dna is the same but there's a little bit of finesse in this that's one right, that's and right and that still has that raw rugged appeal that's right um, you know things like the hinges on the doors that yes, have changed yes. which are, which are completely now camouflaged mm -hmm. and stuff like that over here body color painted and and maybe the rear glass area yes but otherwise than that i think we still have that raw rugged appeal true in true. this car what's your earliest childhood memory of falling in love with cars when when did that kind of spark begin i think with the sound the first uh, thing that you ask me about this and i go back and relate to it i think i don't have a i don't have a visual memory mm -hmm. but i certainly have a a sound uh, memory you know of the the engine running uh, you know uh, cars passing and and i remember between me and my mum we used to play a game mm. and uh, and which was absolutely wonderful huh. uh, so uh, below the uh, window if there used to be a car that used to pass you had to recognize I, it by the you sound you had to recognize it by the sound yeah. so and fortunately i got most of them uh, most of them right you know whose car it was and what car it was and obviously there was a very limited uh, mm. number of uh, cars that were there but it was fun nevertheless so i really remember falling in love with just the sound and then as you were growing up you see your dad drive sitting behind him you know seeing what he does and how he does and uh, you know so you always kind of uh, worship that sort of image yeah. uh, in your mind and thought that you would also one day be able to you know achieve that on a on a road and uh, look after your cars or drive the cars the way Absolutely. your dad dad drove well well same story for me because i got everything from my dad working at his workshop 
opening out carburetors because they just wanted to keep me busy, busy. <laughs> while I was a child. So that's where all my I learning know, also came from. Now I know from. they never gave me that perhaps because they never trusted me with it. <laughs> but yes, but I'm glad that one got to get behind Since the wheel. Since you're talking about sound, let me ask you. The older one, vis-a-vis -vis the new one, the Ji. clatter of that nice diesel engine Ji. or the lovely silent refinement of the new one. And I'm, I'm sure you'll agree, I'm not known to be a diplomatic person, but I'm sure when I say this, all the viewers, I'm sure that they would agree. There is a mood and there is a moment. Correct. Right? Then there is a mood and a moment where you really want to hear this and when you want to hear that door shut in a certain way. And then there is a moment when you want to just be in that silence and you want to be in a in a, uh, a cube that really just hugs you yeah. and uh, tells you that you're fine and you know you don't need to yeah. worry about the outside world. Yeah. So there are moments when you have for, for both those uh, yeah. occasions, you know. So I really won't be able to say just, just one and especially now that we've been spoiled with, with what has come out now True. but at the same time there are moments when you just want to take this out and there are moments that you just want to take this out. And an AC that actually cools. Yeah, that can you imagine? Yes. beauty about this car. Absolutely. <laughs> if I can, one day I would certainly like to take them abroad for a trip. So I got all the versions. Oh, lovely. Yeah. Yeah, nice. So I didn't want a debate. Huh. So whoever likes to drive what drives it? Perfect. No, whoever ni. In this <laughs> regard, it is very clear. The mood that I am in, and <laughs> what I want to drive when, okay. is the question. We picked up two of those. Nice. One for spares. Huh. And one so that yeah, you never have an issue with it. If tomorrow they end up saying that ye nahi hai, wo nahi hai, aisa nahi hai, aisa nahi hai. These cars generally you get spares. Hmm. You generally get yeah, spares. Yeah, today you do. Yeah. Twenty years uh, down the line. That's that's you, a fact. You don't know. That is a fact. And the interesting part is that all three numbers are the same. Lovely. So uh, all well, that's the, an interesting one. Yeah, so we all got number one, number one, and another number one. Lovely. What's the craziest thing you've done in the thar? From putting it into the lakes to rivers to steep hills to mountains to cliffs to everything, yeah, you name yeah. it, we submerged it in water and yeah. everything, yeah. Everything. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> so you really actually enjoy the car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, like the Parsi who polishes it no, and no, cleans no, no. it. No, no, we do like... that too. The Parsi of me is very alive okay. as well, absolutely, hundred yeah. percent. But karna dono hai. Ye nahi hai ki one or the other. Uske baad saaf bhi karna hai. Uske baad saaf bhi karna hai. Ya ek gadi aisa khareed lo jo sirf saaf kar rakhne ke liye hai, aur ek jo hai wo actually jo hai wo. So the so the other one that we have. Uh, the limited edition hmm. that we put through everything yeah. there's okay. nothing that we don't put through put huh. that through huh. and um, uh, and uh, there's one that we just wax and polish as well so you know we don't want to we don't want to not uh, hmm. not do uh, not do uh, things which what they've been made for you yeah. know there is no uh, there's no question about it completely and this is just such a capable 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 car i mean the That's old one but the best part is it's ours yeah yeah it's indian it's ours and we are really now knocking the doors of the international automobile industry with these vehicles yeah this must have come as quite a pleasure because it's far more comfortable it's more plush huh. you have all your connectivity yeah yeah you yeah, can yeah. then stay connected and do everything I remember before MM 540, they didn't even have doors. Yeah, exactly. That yeah. was the best. That was the commander. Yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, I know. So and Shikar cars and all people yeah, would use yeah, them as yeah. in those days at that point of time. No, your cars are just so beautifully maintained. They're just amazing. This is done about 8,000 kilometers. It doesn't so. look it. Mm. It looks tanking new, which is which is really amazing. Do you ever take this roof off? Uh, no, not this one. The other one we do. Yes. Yeah. But so the ones that we have the soft tops in, those yeah. ones, yes. Because this means that you keep opening the nuts and bolts once or twice, and somebody f's up with it, then you are done. You know? This so, is what yeah, I wanted yeah, to yeah. ask you. That have you done it, and what has your experience been? Because I remember we tried it when we wanted to shoot, and nah, then it yeah. was just such a nightmare. Tandav to put it back huh. that I just rather not. I, we'll go that way. They'll go right down to the end. I'd just rather not remove it. Leave it on. And then you get one that yeah. you can remove it and then keep Have it the removed. Latches or something. No, keep like it removed. Yeah. yeah, you know that. Yeah. It, as much as they may say with us Indian vehicles, that is yeah. something that we've never been able to yeah. achieve. Yeah. 
you know uh, like unlike the foreign vehicles where you yeah. can latch and latch on it makes it easier yeah. and it's comfortable and it's easy to mm-hmm. do with us if you want to do that then you ha- in my mind it you works like the workshop no you you buy a separate vehicle in which you keep that off <laughs> and don't mess with it you know yeah. you latch it once and you let it be yeah that's all and when true. you want to drive that then you just take that out and tell the other one to follow so the day <laughs> i want to change then you saw because you tell somebody to poke and prod and tamper with it you screwed it up yeah, absolutely you know? absolutely so unfortunately that doesn't work but like it's just either they'll have a broken glass or they'll scratch something or ki sir isme ye ho gaya and there are just too many stories i i mean i like i like cars that give you that feeling of wanting to stay behind the wheel all day yeah that is true and i think cars generally at large i think uh, do give you that uh, do give you that feeling and lot of people ask me that what are you saying about this because bombay has so much traffic but i don't know i'm i'm happy even when i'm driving in traffic also that's fine if you have the right car yeah. then you don't have a problem yeah. you know but when but then you start getting frustrated you know yeah. going back and forth back and forth back and forth then that is a problem exactly so thank you for that little short drive around your property really Pleasure. really really good and i was okay to leave my life in your hands <laughs> I don't mind leaving I, it in your I hands hope, for a longer drive also now. Oh, no, lovely! I, I hope you got this because this is certainly a clip that I want to take back and uh, make sure that I show it to some of my friends and yeah. family who can listen to this. <laughs> Coming from an expert, you know, so now I have my certificate with me. We've got to do that long drive someday that we've been talking about in the car. Yeah. But tell me, what's your like now? If you had to say, I want to get any car in the world. Yeah. Which is the next one you'd Ooh, like? Oh, you're putting me on the spot, huh? This has been a dream, literally been a dream. So it's going to be a bespoke vehicle. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to talk about it too much because what you call, I have mm-hmm. a, I have a method to my madness. It's certainly going to be a bespoke vehicle. It's not going to be a single vehicle. It's going to be in pairs. Uh, uh. And um, uh, and when I'm ready, I'm, uh, I assure you that we will uh, come together on it and and uh, talk about it more. But the two things there, it, it's going to be a pair, like it has been in the family. So that is what I want to recreate. Okay. Uh, and uh, at the same time, uh, obviously um, uh, going to be a be spoke and one of its kind in the world i'm going to do a bit of rapid fire with you now i'm going to ask you some really petrol head kind of questions i sorry no diffi- no 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 uh, difficult no. questions no. as as discussed no, before no. yes tell me i sorry ev oh uh, ev i'm uh, is is still new to me so i'll go with the with, with the, the ice. yes okay a naturally aspirated engine or a turbo uh, first naturally first naturally aspirated first instinct is is yes absolutely the sound of a naturally aspirated yes. engine is what really gets you um vintage or classic cars vintage and vintage or new modern oh now you're putting me on the spot uh the soul goes uh, vintage and uh, the youth goes uh, modern, modern. <laughs> <laughs> absolutely uh, it's been such a pleasure talking with you i i love connecting with people who love cars just as much as we do and you're an absolute petrol Th- head thank you so much just like us very very kind thank you uh, thank really you so a pleasure thank, thank you so much thank for you. having thank us here for sharing f- this time pleasure. and your stories with us thank you so much thank, thank you, you. Thank you.